Hey principals, it's Ezra here from Dance Curriculum. Uh, oh my goodness, I got hit by a ball already and it's been two seconds talking. <laughs> Let's try that again. Kia ora RPPA. Unfortunately, we couldn't make it to yet another meeting again, but we've made you this video to share with you what we've been working on. Now the clips you can see are from the Halogen National Young Leaders Day Tour that have propelled us into a tiny giant company with only four teaching staff to have taught this year over 30,000 students all across New Zealand and Australia. Now a lot of companies come up here and tell you how awesome they are. At Dance Curriculum, that's not really our style. So we thought we'd let Matt Carter, the president of the Sydney Hawkesbury Principals Cluster, share with you what it's like to work with us. And at the end, we have an incredible learning opportunity to share with schools that qualify. I first came across uh, Dance Curriculum at the National Young Leaders Day uh, in Sydney, uh, where we saw Ezra dancing in front of you know, 5,000 students. He, he did a fantastic job. We contacted him after that um, and have been working with him ever since. The style of dancing that Dance Curriculum uh, incorporates into the school is fun. It's a hip-hop style dance. Ezra does some really cool dance moves uh, with the students, and it really gets the kids to um, come out of their shells. Dance curriculum has been fantastic to build up relationships, um, building those social skills between boys and girls, boys and boys and girls and girls in their partnerships um, and working out how to speak to one another and guide one another in routines. It's gone back into the classroom, they're able to do that in small groups and partners and builds on those skills that we already know. The brilliant part of dance curriculum is that we're getting kids to dance but we're also getting kids out of their comfort zone and I think in terms of working with students outside of dancing uh, in, their, uh, in their classroom environment. We have seen improvements in students engaging with dance at school and being part of the dance group, but we've also seen that flow through into the classroom where they're willing to take risks and make mistakes, uh, and that's been really brilliant for us. The way that the program works is it's a, it's a two-week program. I really find that beneficial as well. Most dance programs are an hour each week. Um, dance curriculum will come in and work exclusively with you for two weeks. So the lag time for kids just isn't there. They get really motivated and really encouraged. I also love the fact that Ezra is able to get everyone dancing. We traditionally had a lot of tr uh, trouble getting our boys to dance. Uh, and Ezra, just his personality, fun and vibrant and energetic, had all of the kids dancing, the way that he works with the students. He really gets everyone engaged and involved. We actually had one of the parents at Carradong North Public School offer to pay the entire cost of the program if we could get them in longer for next year. So the community loved it, the kids loved it. For me, I'd say just jump in, um, give it a go, and the, the results speak for themselves. So principals, now's the time of the year where you're looking forward towards 2023 and thinking about what experiences are important for your students to have at your school. So if you'd like to see if your school qualifies to have one of our in-school programs and see what your options might be, please just jot down your details on the Google form that will be sent to you. And I look forward to speaking with you soon. Ka kite.